laid back here. <laughs> I'm sitting on your shoulder. <laughs> There's a movie I saw a long time ago. I, I forget it was. I think it was called How to he Get How to Get Ahead in Advertising. I think it was How to Get Ahead in Advertising. Uh huh. And it was like a British flick, and it was really odd. It was like this guy had a boil pimple essentially uh -huh. called a boil uh -huh. and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> and it became like his alter ego like his evil <laughs> alter ego about advertising it became kind of this big thing that stuck out of the side of his head <laughs> and eventually it re head? replaced it was really weird yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it just made me think about so that. that made you think of it like you're my alter ego <laughs> yeah I mean, i'm the boil and sitting on your shoulder <laughs> Okay, but that's not what we we're going to talk about. Oh, what are we going to talk about? Well, because I have a silk shirt on. <clears throat> okay. And it's very thin. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's really thin. And you <clears throat> and you said it wouldn't keep me warm. Well, yeah, because <clears throat> I was like looking. I was like, wow, it's paper thin. I can see through it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but you really can't see. It's like, you know. Yeah, it's anyway. Cool. Um, good material. And Fabric. Like, and I was saying, well, she's always cold. <clears throat> so I was like saying, so you're going to be cold. And she's like, no, I'm not going to be cold because it's... Silk. silk it's silk which like, keeps you warm which keeps you warm so mm -hmm. so actually she had me demonstrate by putting my hand in under her blouse mm -hmm. like right here well mm -hmm. not really there but and i just yeah. felt i could feel the heat i could feel the heat in my hand kind of radiating back to me or something like that from, felt, felt from warm, your hand from the silk from, from, yeah so from i was just trying hand. to figure out i'm guessing i'm I was just kind of looking at the pore size of, of the, the silk. It may have nothing to do with this The weave. All. The weave, right. <laughs> but this really, really tiny, tiny little cells or um, pores in, in, in the fabric. So I don't know. I'm, I was just guessing that maybe it had to do, maybe because of those were so small, I don't know, it had to do with the wavelength of infrared radiation because infrared radiation is essentially <laughs> heat. So there's a certain wavelength. There's a certain wavelength for all radiation. Um, from a, a silk blouse. No, no, no. From well, th yeah, that gives off. Well, okay, that gives off radiation as well. So everything is radiation, electromagnetic. If you really want to get technical, what you do? <laughs> e is equal to mc squared, right? The mm -hmm. Einstein equation. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's a conversion between energy and matter. So neither energy is neither created nor destroyed. Um, within quantum mechanics the idea has come up and it's actually very accepted now and we're finding more and more about it is that really even matter is just really energy barriers because within i'm probably getting more than i wanted to but within each atom you have a nucleus um, proton nucleon nu proton um elect not electron proton um neutrons and other subatomic particles but then you have electrons that are spinning around the nucleus and the electrons, compared to the size of the nucleus, the amount of area, volume that the electrons take up, massive. So most of the volume in, in an atom is an electron. And it's a field. Like, you think back to high school chemistry and you taught, well, you've got two okay. electrons here and they spin around this little, you know, this little orbital here. And maybe you had S orbitals and P orbitals. Those are probabilities. Those are high probabilities of where electrons might be in the universe at the time around that atom. But really, an um, electron can be anywhere in the universe. So electrons are in my blouse. So elect yeah, elect electrons are in your blouse. Okay. I guess my point is, <laughs> I don't know where my point is. My point is that... Um, There's electrons in my blouse my that point, are keeping me warm. No, that's not... No? Well, yeah, but well, actually I got way off the topic. Oh. <laughs> so these are the conversations I, we had. I was have. originally just talking about heat and... and um, Electro electromagnetic radiation, mm. and I was trying to just indicate that there's we are all electromagnetic radiation, essentially matter, we're all, we're all energy, so we're all connected energy wise. My atoms are in your atoms, your 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 electrons are in my my electrons, my electrons are in your electrons, so we're all connected. <laughs> <laughs> we're all big one happy family. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, to get back to my point. To get back to the shirt, because I yeah, don't get any of this around chemistry stuff. 180 days to get That's back biology. here. Huh? That's bio. Well, oh, no, it's bi chemistry and yeah, what's that? What? You were talking about um what's called? Orbitals? Yeah, that's 
other things. Electromagnetic radiation? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, chemistry, physics. Bio too. Bio too, yeah, it's all related. Just that has to do with more how biological organisms relate to each other with electromagnetic ra magnetic radiation. But it's, 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 it's the universe. It's us. It's everything. Anyway, to get back to the blouse, yes. what I was guessing, and I haven't really done the research, is that maybe the radiation that was coming off my hand wasn't allowed to pass through <clears throat> the silk. Maybe there's a, a barrier um, that's not allowing it to be, and it basically it would be it could be a pore size that doesn't allow the electric electromagnetic radiation through because there's a wavelength to it. So that's kind of what I was talking about. And you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about now. I'd probably have to show you. So sorry, this was useful. Well, we're trying to show you with this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just trying to 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 guess like why why this thin piece of fabric was holding in heat for her. And I think that might be one of the reasons is that um, infrared radiation has a certain wavelength. You can look it up. I don't know what it is. That's why they have books. Um, <laughs> look, <laughs> seriously, I, you, know, you don't do this stuff all the time. You just look it up. <laughs> um, I think it's really stupid to memorize all those things um, because you have books. And um, But you can look up the uh, wavelength of um, infrared radiation and I'd be curious on how many, how, how, it, how, how it is compared to the size of these pores. Because if it's wider, it's too big from the, too big than the pores, it might not escape from the pores. That's why the, that's why it stays in the blouse. Is there that's a way a to figure that out? Yeah, what, what would that's we have to do? Everything. What was, what would be the test? Would we have to cut up the blouse and put in water or something? Or like, no. what, what, what would, would you do? do? Test. Um, underneath the microscope? No, we could, um, we could, basically get a source for infrared radiation, shine it at the blouse. A light? A laser. A light. Maybe a, a laser. laser. Okay. A low, low frequency laser mm -hmm. maybe, or just a, yeah, a light. Mm -hmm. Shine um, it at the fabric. Infrared light. Shine it at the fabric. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, have some type of sensor. This is probably a complex way. Have a sensor that would record the infrared light coming through. Mm -hmm. And you could see if it was coming through or if it wasn't. Another way you could do it is really just it's with probably just putting put it up in the light. Well, see, look, can see not me. visible light. It would have to be like maybe like a um, a heat lamp or something like that might work mm. because that's heat. So it there's heat. Hot the heat. heat coming from a heat lamp is typically infrared radiation that you're getting. Um, that's one way you get heated. The other way, the way, the other way you feel heat is actually um, there's convection heat, which is actually heating up the molecules of air around it, and it moves around. There's convective and there's conductive. Conductive is infrared radiation shining at you. So, like if you were to take a heat source, like a um, a heat lamp, mm -hmm. and maybe put the blouse next to the heat lamp, and maybe have you could either do it qualitative, feel your hand there, or you could get a temperature gauge. And get a temperature gauge and read what it what it would what what it, what the temperature is on this side of the heat, the the fabric and then this side of the fabric and then you could try and other fabrics or it. other materials. Um, you could have fun with it anyway. It so. Sounds a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. That's more like a physics probably experiment, I guess. But, so know. not chemistry, not bio. Well, it's all physics. related. I'm really, mm. physics is. Probably the fundamental, don't tell chemists, shh, but physics is probably the fundamental science that really explains all of the universe. And then there's, I consider chemistry as like a, a subset because it takes what the physical scientists know and applies it to solutions a lot of times. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of solution chemistry or metal chemistry or things that you can apply in your life, uh, you know, um, petroleum products, you know, creating polyesters and, and, and making things, this making materials. This is silk, not polyester. Right, so that's a natural material. But the little, the little uh, silkworm mm -hmm. had a chemical process that created that silk in its body. And then we pooped it out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's not a better way to say it. <laughs> Pooped out. <laughs> everything poops. There's a book. Everything poops. <laughs> All right. How are we done? My shirt is made of poop. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah.
Ja pääs. Ah, that was fun. <laughs> Silkworm poop. <laughs> Makes you really want to go out and buy a silk shirt, right? Mm, keeps you warm, though. It does. It keeps you warm. Yeah. And so why does polyester keep you warm? Because it's, it doesn't allow you to breathe at all. Hmm. Okay. It's, um, so it doesn't allow water moisture out. Or right. Hmm. Mm. So maybe it inhibits, inhibits evaporation. Maybe. I don't know. That's your, that's your field. Uh, Maybe this does the same, but it's so thin. I don't know. Anyway, oh. just speculating. I'm going to fall off the chair. <laughs> it's I'm going back, back to being, <laughs> being a head. My alter ego. I'm a head. There. There it is. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hope you got something out of this bite.